you see them out there and he needs help and you're pretty good with the county, well, it's pro bono for most of you, but hopefully it won't be. Hopefully there'll be a good structure for everybody. And nothing you can do for that reason, but you should be compensated. Good. You're an event planner, your, your coach doesn't raise money, and you've got uh, you know, seven Mexican players and three Samoans and a couple others, so just basically telling you most of us don't have the money to pay for all year. You've all heard it before. If you don't have the money, what are you supposed to do? Well, I'll tell you what, let's do something in here. Here's creative energy. Right here. She's been in existence for me a few years after a conversation about, look, we've talked about it. Laura didn't take, her, take energy and, and gossip with it. She took it and, and got creative with it, and it's the strongest goal line in the country right now. So step in, people. See what their weaknesses are. Don't be afraid to step in. And go, you need some help doing this, I can help you, and I can help create balance to this. Men broken fences. Men broken fences. This is to everybody. When something doesn't go right, when something doesn't go right, and you didn't handle it right, so a coach said something to your daughter on the field, or you didn't like the way that he talked to her or something out, and you rolled that bat out of the qualifiers and you quit the rest of the summer. Alright, fine, you made your stake. Alright, you stayed your plan, you made your point, you held your principle. But I don't want to be Ponto Via for those of you that don't I don't want to be a rebel anymore. And just and be the martyr for the cause, go down for the cause. And I'm going to be the guy that takes the bullet for everybody because I'm not afraid to speak up. If something goes down that wasn't right, and then you've mastered the body like most of the softball has, most of the softball world has, then don't be afraid to make a phone call or it's somebody when you see him at the park. So you see your old team over there, and you go, oh, don't walk over there because I used to play with that team, and that guy didn't play me in natural. That is pathetic, that's sick, and it's also very traditional and customary. You walk up, you say, hey, you know what? I just want to tell you, I'm really sorry that I'm down. I wish you wouldn't have went down the way that it did. I, I can totally find that you disagree. I know that we just went around the same way, but I just wish you wouldn't have happened the way. Because isn't that what you want your daughter to learn someday? You want to fight with all of your neighbors and nobody gets together anymore? Because you know that's what's happening. People divide up all over the place. Softball world has mastered it. So men just broke fences. Coaches need to do it with other coaches. Coaches need to do it with parents. And if you want to compromise, be the first one to put something on the table in the compromise. It's very important. Coaches, your parents and players will be as professional as you are. They will be as professional as you are. So if you're going to be the first guy that yells and screams, you need to ask me if the second guy going to do it at 8 3 in the morning. And if I walk up, I don't think you're winning 9 nothing in the championship game. It's not what we're about. These, these rings signify what we have, what we did on the field. And you need talent, you need pitching, you need some these are things that happen, but it's not who we are. Our behavior defines who we are, how we relate to people. All right, get ready for this one, parents. I want all of your coaches to be very clear on finances. Be very clear on finances, so if you're not sure, ask. But be clear on finances, because as soon as you get mad, and then there it is, and then you pay for the, the last six months, next six months, and then you quit at three, and now your buddy's going to read your emails, and I want my refund for this, and this and that. You guys didn't play nice. And now you're asking me to refund you on principal, but all you did is you got back and told them off, now you want your money back on principal. Go back and play nice like a fourth grader. And then make yourself whole and, and watch uh, Judge Judy one day. Because she makes people whole. She, has, she understands behavior as well. And she smells behavior a mile away. I used to make my kids watch Judge Judy and she, they hated it. I don't think they're thinking it yet, but they get it now. All right. General information, this is just for you to know, because again, it's a type of world we live in. And to have this type of company, you do have to protect yourself. Firecrackers Incorporated, we are not responsible for monies between coach to coach, team to team, coach to player, coach to family, family to team, family to family. So in the end, I will mediate and I will help bring balance to your situation, but to a professional situation. And I want everybody to be whole. But this isn't Walmart. We're not millionaires, and don't look, come to me to right away recoup your loss of finances when you haven't been in defenses with your coach. All right? Make me aware of anything, that everything that's wrong. Write me an email that's documented some things and put your name to it, and that's important. All right. Last one for this, and we're going to take a quick break, all right? Movement in the organization, okay? And again, for everybody that's here, there's a 300 people that aren't, okay? How do you move within the firepower organization? You're all in the organization right now, but let's say after a couple of months or six weeks, things could be better. Or you see something over there on that firepower team. Or 
front of the lens team or wherever. We're not here to pull you into the organization and lock you down and you go, now you're that one team and you have no access to the other 400 teams. No, there's a way to move within the organization, but later, it has to be done professionally. So what does not happen is I'm a coach, I'm like, hey, uh, So Lily goes and calls her coach and lets Taylor know that hey, I'm going to coach one of now. And Taylor's like, what? Well, it's just a Bible. I need our email. No, we don't do that. The coaches cannot be the last ones to find out. Families, you can request a move, but you got to do it professionally. You can't be afraid of letting this coach know, look, we'd like to make a change for this reason. We appreciate what you've done. We like this about it. But at this point, we'd like to do this. And we want to do it at the right time. So we're not going to do it before a qualifier. But if you can't go back to that coach and go, we'd like to make a change, and you're only going to go to this coach and go, we'd like to come to you. Can you take care of it? It's not what we're teaching your kids. So in our organization, you're allowed to move. The coaches have to work together. And then I explain to coaches, it's like somebody breaking up with you. It never feels good. But handle it professionally because they did the right thing letting you know. So don't get angry at them. Just wish them luck. And if you know that your best player is going to get recruited by somebody else and makes it because your team's not super strong, then be ready.